Good morning my lovelies. I am just doing my hair. I just did my crimping underneath and now I'm going to straighten it. So I have been feeling very very anxious the whole week um, about my hospital appointment and uh, actually when you're watching this video on Monday I will be in hospital so I don't know I just I just feel like the last couple of months I've been on like a high alert high stress because of all the um, hospital appointments you know I've been to the gynecologist before that to check for ovarian cancer and even though you think now there is nothing really serious and and my gastroenterologist said that you know he's sure I don't have anything life-threatening there is always something in the back of your mind especially with me not the most optimistic person in the world that you know makes me worried so yes i'm very anxious i haven't really felt like picking up the camera this week and talking to you i am actually waiting for a phone call from the hospital a nurse is gonna call me you know they do this pre-procedure call ow i have this necklace on this is so old this is at least 15 years old it's a gorgeous golden diamond necklace that Paul bought me when we were in Dubai but I've put you know this little magnetic clasps and they clasp my hair my you know like that baby hair at the back sometimes and pull my hair out what was I saying yes so she is gonna call me I don't know asking me some questions and I have some questions to ask so yes I've been feeling very very anxious about it and I'm sure you you are probably sick of me talking about it I have um I haven't been feeling too bad but that's because I am experimenting with something doing something to help me with that bloating I don't really want to talk about it right now I might do a whole separate vi video about it but I just want to know if there is something wrong with me and if everything is fine with my stomach and my colon then I think my next port of call will be mm, the hormone specialist clinic I might have an appointment with them because remember when I went to the gynecologist she said that having the coil in might co cause that problem as well uh, the menopause you know so I want them to maybe i don't know maybe they would say that I, I should have that coil out and then just go on progesterone tablets i don't know and you know i told you about my teeth i was gonna go and see someone about my teeth but i can't even think about it right now i just want to feel like a human first Right, let me just finish my hair off camera because I'm a bit, I have to look here and here um, and then I will come back. Right, finished my hair, I hate my hair. I hate everything really today. I wanted to show you this. If 
I always forget to tell you about it. Do you remember this bubble bath that I bought from P. Louise? I absolutely love it. So, you know, I don't have baths very often, but um, the other night I had a proper soak to before I was fake tanning and this is gorgeous. I just let my bath run, pulled that in and when I walked into my bathroom, it smelled so gorgeous. I can't describe the smell. I can't describe it, but it was just beautiful. And it's such a huge bottle as well. It looks like a fabric conditioner, doesn't it? It's quite funny. It's called Sin Softener. Anyway, but it's a very, very lovely bubble bath. So if you like your bath, I would give it a go. I have also bought this new mascara from uh, Fenty Beauty. Does it actually have a name, this mascara? Hella Thick. So when I first used it on its own, it was so wet, it was really clumping my lashes. So I thought it's not that good. But as you know, I use the layering technique. So it's quite good for layering. So as usual, I use the um, Catrice Glam and Doll Sculpt and Volume first. And then I use this one, but I wipe the brush on the edge of it properly and then layer it. And I have that on today it's uh, really good okay my Botox my Botox is working now so I can only like frown with this bit but not with this one <laughs> so yeah my Botox is working my my cross feet are gone it's even affected a bit these lines here because she injects it all around here up to here and then I have it here here and I think she puts one here under my eyebrow I don't know I can still move it up obviously because I don't have any in my um, forehead but it somehow um, smooths out as well a bit of this middle bit which I quite like because you know that's where I get oily so my forehead here is quite textured but that sort of stretches it out so yeah it's working okay oh and it definitely has left um, lifted my eyes I because I can't frown when I normally frown all this goes really down but yeah now this part of my eye doesn't really droop when I try to frown so yeah and having it here it definitely lifts my hooded eyes a bit not a big deal that's why you know I haven't had it done for so long and I thought I'd do it again to see the difference I don't think the difference is that big so I don't know if I'm gonna carry on with this Botox it didn't bother me for over a year so but I don't know um, my top, I think I bought it last year, it's a thin linen knit top from So Sanda. I don't know if they still sell this one. And on my eyes, I've got just a bronzer on, um, and it's the Laura Mercier Ritual. Remember, that used to be such a big thing. Um, this hasn't been available for years, but I still have for one. Um, I used to have so many backups of it. It's like a bronzer blush thing. So that's all I have on my eyes. Right, I better go. I don't know how long this video is going to be because honestly, I cannot concentrate on anything. Um, but I try to pop in again um, and chat to you. Hi, my lovelies. I'm in town today. So I thought I'd take you shopping with me. I'm back <laughs> um, I don't know you will know if I've included the footage from that one department store or not because I haven't looked at it yet it was very very difficult to film anywhere 
one the music plays everywhere and this is like copyright infringement so can't put too much of that in a video two it got really busy you know those changing rooms are not very private everybody can hear you i didn't want to sound weird like i'm talking to myself and um most of these changing rooms are really small I, I was struggling to give you like full length view and i didn't want to come out of the uh, changing room with my camera i think to some people that would look weird anyway it wasn't very exciting i didn't see hardly well i only like that that white and blue dress that linen dress it fitted so nicely i didn't buy it because like i said i have very similar pattern dress from last year it's not linen um from Shein. so what's the point having two similar dresses but it was a lovely dress but the rest honestly i don't know what it is because if i go online i could spend thousands so I don't know if it's the way they display their stuff. To be honest, the Forever New, the dress that I tried from, I think they are Australian brand. It was displayed beautifully, all color coordinated and dresses, trousers, you know, everything was beautiful and it was pleasure to look at. But the rest, it's like just like a jumbo sale to me. I don't like department stores anyway because there is too much to look at i prefer each brand to have like standalone store but i went to some other standalone shops and there was just nothing that i liked so i don't know it might be the way they display things it just doesn't look exciting or if you find something eventually they don't have your size so it's just and <laughs> they're taking your clothes off and on you know if you were just in one store and brought everything into one changing room and stayed there for two hours that would be different but you just and stupidly i wore these little canvas sports shoes you know trainers or whatever plimsolls whatever they are called i never even thought of that that every time i want to try something on i will have to take them off anyway i bought something i bought a pair of espadrillas from carvella i've always wanted a pair of those but i don't like the ones that you know that you tie around your ankle i just i know that that would annoy me so these are perfect beautiful really really soft suede and I thought this color will just go with everything, you know, in the summer. So I got these. They are lovely and padded. And I got a handbag. <laughs> like I need any more handbags. But I tell you why. Because I've got lots of lovely, you know, leather handbags. But in the summer, when you're wearing something really summery, like for example today, um, with this linen i just have jeans on and have this linen blazer it's very casual i don't want to wear like really elegant leather bag with it or if you're wearing like a summery dress you know so i wanted something that would go with everything and was summery so i got this bag so it's sort of um raffia with 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 white handles it has a long strap as well and this is from carvella as well i will leave you links to to the shoes and this because you can get it online um, but yeah i really like this bag they did one that was sort of this color what louis doesn't like me sitting here but it was more metallic sort of pewter what is this Oh, I don't know why. I suppose this is just for decoration. It's quite heavy. I might just take that off. And it has it has a strap, 
and it's nice and spacious inside so yes i'm really happy with it it's just the right size you know not too big not too small that i can put enough stuff in it so yeah so that's all i bought and i was there probably two and a half hours hold on because louis wants a snack because i've just come back and usually when either of us come back home he gets a little snack oh my goodness remember you're supposed to be on a diet aren't you you're supposed to be on a diet not getting snacks oh he's so funny Tell me, do you still enjoy shopping in shops? I don't, honestly don't. And it's a shame because it's nice to go out and see people. I, I suppose I like going shopping by myself. I don't like going shopping with anybody else because I feel bad if I want to try lots of things on that I'm holding the other person back, you know, like, like a friend. Um, and when they try lots of things on that I'm not interested in, I'm resentful because I want to go and do my own stuff. So I prefer shopping on my own. But I don't mind if I go for, with a friend, you know, I sometimes go with my friend to town and we have little lunch and coffee and then have a look around the shops and sometimes try something on. But if it's just like a proper shopping trip, I'd rather go on my own. Yes, I, I just thought I'd go and cheer myself up, but I didn't. I got more annoyed than happy. No, but I'm happy with what I got. I really, really like this. I thought they would look nice with my denim dress, with anything really. And they are very comfortable, not too high. Really like them. And I'm happy with my bag as well. Today I'm starting my diet, the pre-op diet because you are not allowed to eat certain things two days or three days before the procedure. You have to eat quite bland things, like you're not allowed to eat beef, you just eat fish and chicken, uh, just plain things, no vegetables, no fruit. So um, yeah, so I'm, I'm starting that today. And I think then on Sunday, I can only eat till 2 p.m and then I can't have nothing apart from drinking water till the next day, till I have my procedure. Right, my lovely, so I better go and get changed and I will see you later.
lovely so i hope you can hear me because it's a bit windy so we are in our usual place louis having fun this is my last day of being allowed out instead of sitting next to the toilet <laughs> um so yes tomorrow is the day when it all starts and you will be probably relieved that you won't have to listen to me talking about it well I probably in the next Monday will let you know how it all went oh and I forgot to tell you so first of all sorry that um, I haven't been as good at answering comments because you know I'm a bit preoccupied and there will not be a video this Wednesday because I forgot to tell you the day after I've been to hospital we are going for a short break away we're going to Cotswold so I will film it there and you will see it next Monday I think I'm going to finish this vlog here thank you so much for watching have a wonderful week and stay fabulous bye